Hello, today we're taking a look at a 2008 Lincoln Navigator Coolant Hose T leak repair. And what I'm going to show you is kind of the beginning of the leak at this particular T shown in the middle of the video. Um, at low RPMs you don't see any leak and that's what's interesting. I pull the engine up and I see all this white that is uh, the actual coolant that is burned off as I drove down the highway. Now when I rev the engine up, you'll see the leak start to show under the little where the couplings are on this particular T. So now I'm going to kind of rev the engine here and give you a good look at this leak. Now the engine RPMs are going up and you can kind of see right up under that thing because as the pressure increases that leak starts to show. So today we're going to make this repair and I'm going to show you how to save some money and save some time and get you back on the highway. Okay, now that we've identified the leak, our next step is to go and I'm going to take this tea, which I picked up at O'Reilly's for about $8, and I'm going to replace this tea with this tea. And that is a, it's a three-quarter inch tea, and you can kind of see how it's set up. My plans are to cut here, here, and here. And so another way to look at this thing, if you want to get these little pieces off, is to go with the old-fashioned Dremel. I know you think to yourself, how am I going to use a Dremel? But it's got some little bitty plastic clips right here. And so I'm going to Dremel these. And then I'm just going to take the Dremel and <clears throat> buzz down both sides right here. Gently on a real low speed RPM. And as I do that, I'm going to cut each one of these little bands off. And then I'm going to cut that off and then slide each one of these little bumpers. And see, once i got a nice little slot created by my Dremel, I just take my screwdriver and stick it in the side here and then No kidding, the Dremel is what makes this job go from very frustrating to like surgery. So I surgically cut a couple grooves, use the old screwdriver, and out pops that. So now all I have left is the T, and I'll just separate each one of the hoses, put back in the new T, and we'll be ready okay. to Okay, this piece of plastic is so brittle, and you can see it broke off on both ends, which left a little piece down inside the tube. You can see that little plastic piece. So what we're going to have to do next is we're going to need to take we're going to take this pair of pliers and then we're going to crush this little plastic piece inside here. And when I do that, what we'll do next is I'll show you that too. We're just going to kind of wrap it in a little bit of a towel and then we're going to crimp down on it and that'll crush it up enough to where I can get this little plastic. So I'm doing something like this where I've taken a little towel and I'm going to crimp it over it and do it that way. Now you want to be sure that you want to bend the hose down so you don't get any particle fragments that fall down your hose line. So when I do this, I'm actually going to bend it downward and then crush it. Brand new T. Uh, spent probably eight bucks on the T, a couple dollars on the hose clamps, and we're back in business. Super quick, maybe 20 minutes. Good little plan, had all the parts ready, didn't take long at all. Saved a lot of time, a lot of money, and uh, looks pretty good, I think. Y'all have a good day. Thank you for watching. God bless.